Do you have sensitive skin? Most of us have, to one degree or another, sensitive or easily irritated skin. Regardless of your primary skin type, ethnic background or age, minor or major irritating skin conditions can be present. The skin can burn, chafe, or crack, and you may have patchy areas of dry, flaky skin related to weather conditions, hormonal changes, the skincare products you use, or sun exposure. Skin can also break out in small bumps that look like a diaper rash. Skin can itch, swell, blotch, redden, and develop allergic reactions to cosmetics, pets, dust, or pollen. If that isn't enough to make you itch just a little more, then think about the number of cosmetics most women use daily. The average woman uses at least 12 different skincare, makeup, and hair care products a day, with each one, on average, containing about 20 different ingredients. That means your skin can be exposed to about 200 different cosmetic ingredients on any given day. The fact that any of us have skin left is a testimony to the skin's resiliency and the talent of cosmetics chemists. Whether we like it or not, most of us will react to something along the way, and for some, perhaps even daily. Your skin is the protective armor that keeps the elements and other invaders from entering the body. But we protect most of our anatomy with clothing. Our faces are left painfully exposed to everything. It's no wonder the skin on our faces acts up now and then. Sensitive skin is probably the most normal type of skin around. Now, everyone has the potential to develop sensitive skin. So women of every skin type should heed the precautions for sensitive skin. What are the precautions? There is really only one, and it goes for all skin types. Treat your skin as gently as you possibly can. Whether you think of your face as oily, dry, or mature, you still need to be gentle with your skin and avoid things that cause irritation. The operative word is gentle. Preventing skin irritation, regardless of your skin type, is the course of action I always recommend. Now, of course, some skin types can and should try to tolerate certain potentially irritating ingredients because of their overwhelming potential to help skin look better. A topical disinfectant like 2.5% benzoyl peroxide, for instance, is helpful for someone with blemish-prone skin, while a beta-hydroxy acid solution, a salicylic acid exfoliant, is good for someone with blackheads and blemish-prone skin. Likewise, an alpha-hydroxy acid product used to exfoliate, or Retin-A or Renova prescription medications to improve cell formation are beneficial for someone with sun-damaged skin. Hydroquinone is a well-researched ingredient that can lighten skin discolorations, but may be irritating. Aside from these type of exceptions to the gentleness rule, if something is irritating, it can be detrimental for all skin types. If it is bad for sensitive skin, it is most likely bad for oily skin, acne-prone skin, combination skin, dry skin, or menopausal skin. As you integrate this gentleness philosophy into your skincare routine, you will slowly but surely solve many of the skin problems you have been experiencing.